Hi, my name is Victor, and today I'm going to go over the law of exponents. Now, the law of exponents tells us that if I have two numbers multiplying to each other, and they have the same base but different exponents, well, we can write rewrite this as a single number with the same base, and we just add up the exponents. So, for example, let's say I had x squared times x cubed. Well, we can rewrite this as a single expression by taking the square and the cube and adding them up. So 2 plus 3 would give us a power of 5. All right? The law of exponents also tells us that if I have a certain number raised to an exponent and it's being raised to another exponent, well, we can simplify this expression by rewriting the base and multiplying the exponents. So, for example, let's say we had x squared raised to the third power. Well, we can simplify this by saying x raised to the 2 times 3, which would give us x raised to the sixth power. All right? Now, the law of exponents also tells us that if we have two different numbers, and they're both being raised to a certain exponent, well, we can simplify this expression by rewriting each number individually raised to the exponent. Okay? So, for example, let's say I had x times y raised to the fourth power. Well, we can simplify this expression or rewrite it as saying x raised to the fourth power times y raised to the fourth power. Okay? The law of exponents tells us that if I have the same base, right, written as a fraction, but they each have different exponents, then we can rewrite this as a single expression by rewriting the base and subtracting the exponents. Okay, so for example, let's say I had x raised to the fifth power over x raised to the third power. The law of exponents tells us that we can rewrite this as x raised to the 5 minus 3, which would give us a power of 2. Okay? Now, finally, the law of exponents tells us that if I have two different numbers written as a fraction, and that whole fraction is being raised to a certain exponent, well, we can rewrite this as saying the numerator raised to the exponent over the denominator raised to the same exponent. So in other words, for example, let's say we had 2 over x raised to the third power. Well, I can rewrite this as saying 2 raised to the third power over x raised to the third power. Now we know that 2 raised to the third power gives us a value of 8. And x raised to the third power would just remain as x raised to the third power. Okay, so there you have it. <clears throat> There's a brief overview of the law of exponents. Any questions or comments, you may leave them below, and have a good day.